Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith, and in today's business notes, that optimism on Wall Street yesterday gave way to some harsh reality today. Investors were anticipating some bad retail sales numbers, but they came in worse than expected. Retail sales were down 8.7% from February to March, and that is the largest one-month decline since they began tracking the numbers in 1992. The retail sales numbers are important because consumer spending accounts for roughly 70% of the U.S. economy. And unfortunately, the bad numbers were not limited to retail sales. The Federal Reserve reports that industrial production dropped by 5.4% in March compared to March of last year. That is the largest decline since 1946. Oil is one of the things industrial production measures, and the story on oil is bad and seemingly getting worse. The price for a barrel of crude dropped to below $20 a barrel at one point today as the worldwide glut of oil mounts. There are now not enough storage facilities to handle what is being produced compared to what is being consumed. It is now projected there will be a drop in consumption of more than 9 million barrels a day this year. More of the big banks reported their first quarter earnings and projections today, and PNC Financial was one of them. PNC reports that its first quarter profits were down 28% compared to the first quarter of last year, and compared to the fourth quarter, profits were down 34%. Goldman Sachs reports its first quarter profits were down 46%. You can now add Best Buy to the list of major corporations, which is laying off nearly half of its workforce. That means 51,000 Best Buy employees are joining the ranks of the unemployed. So with all of that bad news, it was a down day on Wall Street today. Here now are the closing numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average for the day was down 445 points. The NASDAQ registered a loss of 122 points, breaking a four-day win streak. The S&P 500 gave up 62 points. One final note, J.C. Penney was already having problems before the virus outbreak. Now, with the outbreak, it may be filing for bankruptcy protection. Also tomorrow, the weekly unemployment numbers will be released in the morning. That's today's business notes. I'm Stacy Smith.